Greetings and welcome to Studio G. My name is Maurice and we're jumping straight into the news today. So I'm on a site called CNBC News and here's the article that was just sent to me. It says bipartisan bill aims to update rules for federal benefits for the elderly and disabled. So if you're on SSI, you already know your maximum monthly benefit is about $841 per individual and about $1,261 for couples. But the average overall is about $625.50. And many people receiving these benefits are living under or close to federal poverty levels. So in order to help these individuals, Senator Sherrod Brown and Rob Portman have introduced a bill called the SSI Savings Penalty Elimination Act. And this bill seeks to update the asset limits for beneficiaries which have not been changed since 1989. Currently, individuals getting SSI are limited to about $2,000 in assets and married couples are limited to $3,000. This new bill will increase these limits to $10,000 for individuals and $20,000 for couples. The SSI Saving Penalty Elimination Act will also adjust the threshold annually for inflation based on the Consumer Price Index data. This will help ensure that the programs keep pace with the cost of living. Furthermore, Updating the asset limits for SSI beneficiary, the bill will also seek to adjust the program's rule around income from work. Currently, your benefits can have up to $20 in earn, unearned income per month, and for their first 65 in earnings is exempt from the program rules. So SSI benefits are reduced by 50 cents for every dollar of income. These thresholds have not been changed since 1972. Updating the program rules around income from work could help improve beneficiary standard of living according to a report, a report from the Urban Institute. So overall, the SSI Savings Penalty Elimination Act is a much needed update to the SSI program that could provide greater economic security for the disabled, blind, and elderly individual. I'm gonna be sure to keep you up to date on the process of this bill. Okay, and next up, I'm still on CNBC, and as we know, Congress is in what you call a lame duck session, and they have a lot of unfinished business before the new senators and congressmen take office in January. Okay, but the part that stood out to me in this particular article is that the year-end budget deal that Congress recently just passed includes additional funding for the Social Security Administration, but it falls short of the amount requested by President Joe Biden, supported by the House and the Democrats. Okay, so on the, on the bright side, there are new retirement proposals that could expand emergency saving options for people. And these proposals will allow plan providers to automatically enroll employees in separate accounts where they can set aside about $2,500 for near emergency and retirement funds. Another provision in the bill will allow plan participants to withdraw a thousand per year for emergencies. Now, unfortunately, a pro proposal to allow for separate standalone emergency funds outside of retirement accounts did not make the cut, okay? So overall, the funding for Social Security program and the potential for emergency expansions are important for Americans and we'll be sure to keep you up to date on any developments in this area. So just a quick recap, they did pass more money for the Social Security Administration, it just wasn't enough. So hopefully, when the, everybody gathers up in January to reconvene the Congress, they'll be doing some more moving and shaking up of what's going on right now. So I wanna thank you guys for watching this very quick video. If you got any questions or comments about what I talked about today, 
just let me know in the comments below guys and i hope you're having a great day